Hey, Mr. Wilson, just wanted to take a quick video to show you what I did find up here today. Um, obviously, this is the front of the residence here, so we'll start right here and just kind of pan around real quick. The front plan of the roof actually looks very well. Um, these screens that are in the gutter are are good and efficient and that they're not underneath the tab and, um, you know, getting in the way of that first tab being adhered down to the perimeter. So that's good. A couple little nail pops that are beginning to rise up under the tabs right there. Um, and there's a few more that are doing that. And the only other thing that really caught my eye, other than these shingles being really brittle, and, um, you know, there's, they're definitely time to be changed out. There's no denying that. But we've got some issues going on right here in this valley. And also uphill in about the middle of the valley and three-quarters of the way up, you can almost feel in here. And there's actually a hole in the shingle right there with a the little baby acorn so water is definitely getting in there um, hopefully it's getting on whatever may be under this valley whether it be metal or whatever type of underlayment they used for that vulnerable area there and following that all the way on out and not actually penetrating the interior um, so moving around to the back definitely have this big dip that's going on right here um, what i'm gonna do while i'm here is i'm gonna go ahead and put some underlayment to, to stop any more water from getting through, but definitely uh, definitely an issue there. Feel a little bit more down this way when I step, and what it is is there's a decking nail backing out right here, and I'm not exactly sure what's causing this one. Probably the same thing, but there's absolutely a shingle nail right there, um, and we'll just move on. The gutter screens back here in the back of the house, I want to absolutely replace with an inset screen that's not actually holding the shingle up because what's going on is it's causing like the ramp if you will and all the water is coming down from the ridge line on this plane it's hitting this can absolutely wick back up underneath it's going uphill to have to get off and what's happening is it's probably wicking under so we want to definitely get those to lay down and the only way to do that when we put a new roof on is to put inset pop-in screens in that actually are kind of beveled to go down then they don't they don't obstruct the shingle from laying down properly i want to absolutely also include new flashing on this chimney this flashing right here should absolutely terminate on this side there should not be a big void right here water can absolutely get in there um, <clears throat> and this is not really anchored correctly to the brick there should be a counter flashing cut into this brick and set over this flashing um, this is just glued to the to the brick which is doing its job right here but then you step over here and there's a huge gap right here so nothing's stopping driving wind and water from uh, coming down this wall and ultimately getting getting on the interior and causing you guys internal problems or interior problems excuse me and the same thing here I want to remove these screens put some put some better screens in there that are not going to cause our shingles to not be adhered like they should be on that on that outside edge and we have a pretty big disturbance right here going on not exactly sure what's causing it but i'm pretty sure we're going to encounter some decking issues here so that's pretty much it um hope you found this video helpful and i will um get you together that proposal and hope to be hearing back from you soon and there's another I'll show you that real quick before i wrap it up this is actually a decking nail It's popping out right there. You can see it. That should be, uh, you know, in the plywood and under the shingles, but it's done worked its way up and out. So we need to get that taken care of as well. These shingles are very brittle. It should not break like that. It's just that they're old and um, <laughs> to their expiration date. So I really don't even feel comfortable, honestly, telling you a, a time frame left. The only... The only good thing about these shingles that is left is there's great adhesion left on them. Their the tabs are stuck very well. And I'm not really worried about wind getting under them and ripping these tabs off. Well, I spoke too soon. But, you know, it's kind of hit or miss. Most of them are down pretty good, but the granule surface has depleted a lot, which has exposed the asphalt and has caused the asphalt to start to emulsify and get very brittle. So it's not really doing its job once it's to that point. And... On a low pitch roof like this, it's imperative for that, that asphalt to be in good shape to resist the water from getting in. 
when it gets dry like this, there's no reason why water can't get in there. All right, Mr. Wilson, thank you for your time.